Hey YouTube, here's what I got today. I got a steel FS110R trimmer. Uh, my Red Max BC2600. The cable snapped on it, the throttle cable. And I still have my other Red Max, but now I, w I would be down to one trimmer. And of course, if one fails, then you're in a lot of trouble. So, took another weed whacker over to him too, just to try and work on, but... I picked this up for... 370 That was the price of it, and... All together, we bought a big spool of steel trimmer line. Right now it's got quiet line in it, they call it, but I got fluorescent green. It's supposed to have, like, notches cut in it to make it quieter, but I don't know. Um, great tool, um, came to four seven four hundred and seventeen dollars in the end, we, uh, told him if he threw in a pack of free oil, a uh, six pack of oil, steel oil, then, uh, we take it, so, uh, usually we get the two and a half gallon, uh, measurement bottles, but he said he can only throw in the one gallon ones, but that's alright. So yeah, uh, it's a steel FS110, it's got the, came with a shoulder strap, I just, I don't have it on it right now, and the really nice throttle trigger with the click here, and then you hold it down and put it up to start, and, you know, and all that stuff, you know, you can, pops back. Oops, got, um, it's got the, uh, very, very famous steel Formix engine in it. Uh, the, the, re the, excuse me, the steel Formix engine is a four cycle engine and it uses two cycle fuel. Sounds a lot different, but I like it. It's got a lot, a lot more torque than, <sighs> let me just see if I can put it over here so I can show you guys the back of it. A lot more torque than, you know, just a regular. When it's got that nice flip top gas cap where you flip that tab up just like on the steel chainsaws. This thing ain't stable. There it goes. These newer model steels have, I don't know if you've seen uh, these newer ones, but they have automatic compression releases on them. So it's pretty much, I mean, you can see normally a trimmer would go pulling up in the air, but this one, I can just pull out the rope. Um, yeah, it's a good trimmer. It's the FS110R. Um, I'm going to be going out to work soon, so I'm not going to do a cold start on it today. Uh, but I will make another video on it, of it in action. It's a little dirty, uh, pouring rain yesterday, and I taken it off the truck, and it got a little, I don't know if you guys can see it, I'll try and zoom in the best I can, a little rust there, and and that crankcase housing, a little rust pop. A little dirty in there, I'll zoom in. But I've just been using it. Uh, yeah, it's a good trimmer. I highly recommend steel. I've wanted to steal for quite a while. Red Max got bought out by Husqvarna, for you guys that don't know. And I don't really like Husqvarna. I never used them, but it's not that good. Uh, so, yeah, that's a spark plug in underneath there. It's got the same features, though, uh, primer bulb, whoops, sorry for the focus, not focusing on me today, sorry about that. Alright, I don't know what in the world is going on with my camera. Hang on. I'm, so, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to get it, it's not, my camera's just messing up. Uh, yeah, it's got the choke and everything still on it, but, really nice trimmer, so, yeah, so when I, I'll make, take another video on it, once I, uh, it's brand new, uh, you know, other than me using it, but once I get it, get it some time, I'll make a video on it up in action and everything. Alright, till next time, see you guys.